once somebody will write the history of the Biennales and we'll find all the red stripes that connect one to the other, or the relationship between the one and the other, or the contrasts and the similarities, and that would be a wonderful and wonderful exercise. Let me uh, welcome the curators of all the other sectors of the Biennale who are here with us. You know, I, I want to underline this. When you uh, enter the Biennale, you enter an institution which is a manifold and, and is active in many different sectors. And hundreds of people are working in theatre, dance, music, and the cinema sectors. And I always keep reminding this because I know very well that everybody talks about interdisciplinarity, but everybody sticks to his favorite discipline. And uh, so I will prepare some folders at the entrance that any of you might be interested in what we do beyond art and what will be our, what will be our programs for the next weeks and for next months and what we do with the colleges for the young generations of artists. I mean, there you'll find all the uh, possibly useful information for you. Um, a warm thank to the journalists who are here. I keep saying that and my, the people of the Binali knows among the yardstick of the success of the Biennale is the number of journalists who are attending it. We have overcome the number of 5,000 these days, and 5,000 accredited and present is, uh, uh, I mean, one of the records in any case. I remember when I came here first time, there were 2,000 so together. So, thank you for being here. This is the, I say, a yardstick because uh, on the whole, what we really want, we want to achieve is the trust of the world towards what we do and the presence of this uh, journalist is the uh, is a way to give us a measure of um, the trust that the world with the with which the world looks at our work and what we do in any in different fields. Um, these we are we are living the days of the Venissage and uh, there are, uh, the Venissage is for us a uh, very engaging exercise, but it lasts five days. Uh, and uh, but then there will be the opening, and then the six months with which the Biennale will be in direct contact with our visitors and with the public. And this is uh, just I just want to underline this to, and to, because the, our main aim, of course, is whatever we do, we look at our, the public as our main counterpart. I mean, we are working for improving and spreading knowledge, for helping people to understand and to know, and as I usually say, to induce some desire for the arts and desire for the arts for architecture. Art is not something that you uh, want to know or want to be informed with without the desire of art and artists in your life and in our life. Um, thank you to the uh, representatives of the foreign of the participating countries' pavilions that we have accepted the idea of making the. Uh, the, the to, to let the Biennale last six months, one month more than usually and uh, this is once again a demonstration that we want I mean our aim is really to talk to the public to extend to as, as many visitors as we can the result of the research that has been done by the curator uh, to help and to be helpful to the visitor we have introduced last year uh, 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 um, a new uh, organization for the attendance. I mean, the attendance that are all, all along the Biennale uh, are now young, graduated for in art or 
correlate the disciplines who have been informed, who have, been, have, been, have had workshop to know and understand and see and be, become somehow experts on the Biennale. So they will be uh, attendant or active attendant, uh, capable of helping the visitor not only in, uh, where, where, where is the exit and where is the entrance, but also what's happening around them or, and the works that are around them. Uh, the very active is the ones, the, the, our uh, people working in the educational sector and TV team and will have 2,700 teachers which are already working for bringing their pupils. I mean, I'm talking about ordinary schools and we expect more than 50,000 people from schools from the Veneto, Italy or even Austria and surrounding countries or to have a guided visit and the possibility to talk and to experiment and to work together around what they have been seeing and to talk together and to discuss what they have been seeing. Uh, we have 45 uh, universities taking part of our sessions, university section program, which means that they come with the four of them in a group of about 50 persons between the students and scholars and they, they have their own visit and then they spend some time for a common discussion. And uh, this is something that started a few years ago and it's having, uh, it's inducing more and more interest every year. Uh, the, um, some restoration every year, that there are parts of the scenario have been restored and the last one has been the one you will find in the, uh, in the uh, so-called Sale d'Armi, uh, in, uh, in the for, for room, new rooms to be dedicated to, uh, to the college activities and to the exhibition for one of the tavole aperte that are part of the exhibition curated by, by uh, Christine uh, Marcel. Uh, and coming to her, I mean, the uh, I want just to remind you that uh, a curator for a Biennale is not just a skilled person capable of organizing an exhibition. It's someone who come here with all the knowledge and the research and the passions and the efforts that have been made throughout his or her life and uh, with generosity throws it everything in front of us, and uh, so to be to be curator of a Biennale is an act of really an act of generosity towards visitors, because it's. Um, I used to say that a, a, a cura potential curator of the Biennale walks around with a with a basket on her head with all the ideas that, if offered the opportunity to. Uh, present them to the world uh, comes with enthusiasm and do it here. So, I mean, uh, the, the, therefore, we, uh, I'm sticking and we are sticking to the idea that the Biennale has to be uh, one single exhibition with one curator. And this is, uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm not a follower of Biennales with commissions and committees or commissions of selection and all the rest because commissions, they start negotiating. I don't want a curator to negotiate with nobody else but himself and uh, come here and bring with all the, 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 the take this an opportunity which might be unique in her life. And the, uh, uh, so it's, uh, and when we, choose a curator, of course, we have knowledge of this big basket who each of, it, each of them carry with them 